Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A light cable is supported at two points 20 meter apart which are at the same level. The span of the cable is given as 20 meter. The cable is supported on the same level. The cable carries three concentrated loads of magnitudes 20 kN, 30 kN and 24 kN at points 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Let us keep this point as 1, this point as 2 and this point as 3. So in the first point we have 20 kN load, in the second point we have 30 kN and in the third point we have 24 kN. The points 1, 2 and 3 are 5 meter, 10 meter and 15 meter respectively from the left support. So this is the left support. From the left support this load is at the distance of 5 meter. This load is at the distance of 10 meter. And this load is at the distance of 15 meter. So this distance is 5 meter. This distance is 5 meter, this distance is 5 meter and finally this is also 5 meter. The deflection at the first point is found to be 0 0.8 meter. We know that it is our first point. In this point the deflection is 0 0.8 meter. Determine the tension in the different segments and a total length of the cable. In the question, we have been given this dip as 0 0.8 meter. Let us keep this dip as y2 and let us keep this dip as y3. Let us name the various points of the cable A, C, D, E and B. Now we are going to find the vertical reactions VA and VB. First, let us find VA. For that, I am going to take a moment about B. In this case, we have to follow right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 20. So 20 VA. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 15. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 10. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also negative and the distance is 5. We know that the points A and B are in the same level. So for the horizontal thrust H, there is no perpendicular distance. In this case, when we take a moment about to B, we should not consider the horizontal thrust. After the calculation for VA, we will get 36 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VB. VA and VB are acting upwards. So, both of them are positive. These three loads are acting downwards. So, all three of them are negative. Finally, for VB, we will get 38 kN. Now, we are going to find the horizontal thrust H. For that, we can use this formula. Y is equal to B moment upon H. In the point C, we know the Y value 0 0.8. So, in this point, if we find the B moment, we can find the horizontal thrust H. In the point C, I am going to find the B moment from the point A up to the point C. We have only the vertical reaction 36. This is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. We can take H on the right side and we can take 0 0.8 on the left side. Finally, for the horizontal thrust, we will get 225 kN. We have calculated the horizontal thrust H. Now, using this formula, we can find Y2. 
up to the point D, we have the vertical reaction and the load 20. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 10. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. We know the value of H 225. Let us apply that. Finally, for Y2, we will get 1.15 meter. Now, let us find Y3. To find Y3, let us find the B movement from the point B because it will be easy for us. Now, we have to use the left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Up to the point E, we have only the vertical reaction 38. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. Finally, for Y3, we will get 0 0.84 meter. Now, we are going to find the length of the cable. First, let us find length of AC. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we know the height 0 0.8 and we know this distance that is 5. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can find AC. Now, let us find the length of CD. For that, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we need to find the height 1.15 minus 0 0.8. We will get 0 0.35. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can find CD. Now, let us find length of DE. For that, we have to take this triangle. We need to find this height. This height is 1.15 minus 0 0.84. We will get 0 0.31. Then, using Pythagoras theorem, we can find length of DE. Now, let us find length of EB. For that, let us take this triangle. We know that the height is 0 0.84. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the length of EB. Then to find the total length, we have to add all of them. After adding, we will get 20.15 meter. Now we are going to find the tension. We know that for all of the members, the horizontal component will be the horizontal thrust 225. Only we have to find the vertical component. For the member AC, the vertical component is 36. For CD, the vertical component is 36 minus 20. So that we will get 16. For DE, it is 36 minus 20 minus 30. We will get minus 14. For EB, it is 36 minus 20 minus 30 minus 24. We will get minus 38. Otherwise, for the vertical component for EB, we can directly apply the vertical reaction in the point B, 38. Now, using this formula, we can find the tension in all of the segments. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.